see what I'm having. This is what I'm having on Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Going to the hospital. Eating fries and chicken. I want to see what I'm having for Thanksgiving. Fire. Oh, yeah. Fire some chicken. And I'm still in the hospital. the hospital so hungry I just took a fresh bath from the cafeteria hmm? fresh bath <laughs> from the cafeteria in a year so fresh bath upstairs The fourth floor where I am. There are bathroom there, but <laughs> I really don't shower every day. Because I'm the hospital, I'm just like. Maybe once a week I take a bath. And today, take a bath. Because I feel nasty. Let me feel fresh for tomorrow Thanksgiving. Because tomorrow is Thanksgiving. It's so unfortunate that I'll be spending Thanksgiving in the hospital. It's better than spending on the street, right? At least the hospital, they're just so nice and so kind right now. Yeah, no, they're just grateful. Better than spending in the hospital than spending on the street. can be on the street and we better spend it in the hospital and spend on the street mm -hmm. I wanted to eat salad so bad and I'm late. So with that tomorrow is Thanksgiving. And the cafeteria really don't have nothing. Because tomorrow is Thanksgiving. People have a lot of food in their houses. I wish I can be even invited in somebody's house. Somebody can just tell me, hey, come over for Thanksgiving and eat some food and go back to the hospital. Nobody. Nobody have called me for Thanksgiving. 
Nobody has invited me. Come for their house or dance even. The after time even. Don't be calling your phone and be asking you have ID. I have ID to come to your house. Mm -hmm. I mean, I do to come to your house. I'm going to my baby. Oh, I want to go there. But for somebody. Invite me in their house. You know? Like tomorrow is Thanksgiving. I have a lot of family members in Texas. We so called people who brought me here in Texas. They live in Texas. In fact, they have a house. They don't even live in an apartment, they own a house. They're rich like Beyonce and Jay Z. Like they literally own a house. But not, none of them have checked for me in the hospital. They own a big house. Very big house. With just two kids. But nobody, none of them have checked for me. None. And they know I've given birth, but none of them have checked for me in the hospital. None of them. I have cousins. I have a lot of people here in Texas. And tomorrow is Thanksgiving. I'm in the hospital. Nobody can say, oh, come. Come spend Thanksgiving with us. Eat some good meal. Take some good bath. Rest, eat and drink. And then you can go back to the hospital. Mm. Just want it to straight forward to me. Mm. Nobody has done that. Nobody. Mm. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving. Maybe the cafeteria will be closed. I don't know. The nurses. I don't want to take care of me. I don't believe that. The nurses are the ones taking care of me in the hospital. The nurses are the ones feeding me. The nurses are the ones clothing me. They're the ones giving me food. They're the ones giving me a gift card to go get food downstairs. Because I have no money. Even a dollar I don't have. There's just one particular net that she works night on Queen's Ward. 
every day she gives me a gift card to go eat. Because she knows I have nothing and no one. But basically, the nurse are the one taking care of me. They the one feeding me. They the one clothing me. My family is nowhere to be found. It's witchcraft. I call it witchcraft. That you stranded in Texas. You have family. And nobody has come looking for you. And there are nurses that are taking care of you, white nurses. For black people, they're very mean. Just can't believe I can be stranded in a hospital in Dallas, Texas, while her family. And there are nurses that are taking care of me. If they, were, they didn't really care, they just come, do what they want to do with Queen, and then they leave. And because it's not their job to do this to me, they just kind enough because they know my story. It's not their job. What if they just come in, just take care of Queen, do what they have to do? They're not supposed to take, take care of me, no? I've been discharged long time ago. They're not supposed to take care of me. They're not supposed to do that. That's an extra burden on them. They just, the job is to come there, take care of Queen, and walk out. What if they just come, do what they have to do for Queen, and leave? So for one month, I'll be dead. Why well, have people? And somebody calling me talking about bullshit. ID card. Just as I've been eating today, did you even drink water? Do you even have water there to drink? Did you even drink some water today? Did you drink water today? How did you sleep? And somebody's calling me asking for ID card. Something I don't even care about. What does ID card have to do with hospitality? What does ID card have to do with hospitality? My child is there, not even drinking milk enough. She's still being fed on a chip. I'm drinking milk slowly. She's still not really breathing that well. You call the first is asking me for ID while my child is fighting for life. Did you actually eat yesterday? Did you eat today? How did you sleep? Did you hide your stitches? Are you healing? She's in the hospital. Not kind of, not any kind of thing can be discussed in the hospital unless that person gets out. Once you get out, then we can talk about some crazy stuff. You're not gonna discuss crazy stuff with me until I get out. My children in the hospital. We don't need to get out. I told you I'm stranded. I need a place to stay. And if you can't receive me in your house, don't talk about ID card. No, 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 no. Don't do that. That's not hospitality. I didn't ask you for ID card. I told you I need a place to stay and I'm stranded. This is time to me. Yeah, people there with a family eating. I'm here in the hospital, my daughter. 
Somebody wanna talk to me about how you cut. I'm gonna smack your face. Are you talking to someone with an empty stomach? Somebody who hasn't even showered for months. Somebody who just came out through a C-section. Is she healing? How is her C-section doing? I'm not gonna smack somebody's face talking to me about some ID card. You think the Americans are fool? If they're tired of you, they'll look for you and put you on a free flight and send you where you come from. I don't have to look for them, okay? Although I'm looking for them, you don't have to look for, 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 for them. If they're tired of you, hmm? wherever you are, they're gonna fish you out like Osama bin Laden <laughs> and put you on a free flight and send you home. I don't worry about that one. Don't worry. If America don't want you, they're tired of you, they will fish you out. They will look for you. Like Osama Bin Laden. They will fish you out. They will fish you out. They will look for you. They will fish you. There's no way you can hide from American people. There's no way. If they don't want you, they're tired of you, they want to kill you, or they want to send you back, they're going to fish you out. They will fish you out like Osama Bin Laden. And put you on the free flight and send you back home. So you tell me, you say I'm, I'm a permanent resident. You understand? The other thing they will just tell you, you need to renew that. But nobody's gonna carry me and deport me because it says permanent resident. Hmm? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm a permanent resident. So all of you are ID, they do it. Anyway, wait till I get up. That's not what I talk complain to you about. What I complain to you, do it. If you don't wanna do it, don't then don't talk about useless stuff to me. I tell you guys I was standing. You got evicted. If you can't do that one, then don't go doing difficult things I didn't ask you to. No, I'm just still repeating the same thing because I'm so annoyed. I'm so angry. I'm so upset about the stupidity of some people. So I ask you for something. Don't do it. Don't go be doing difficult things I didn't ask you for. Especially somebody that took my passport, lay in New York, still not even renewed. No? It is annoying. And tomorrow is Thanksgiving. The cafeteria is dry, the hospital is dry, because everybody is going home to their family. Everybody. The everywhere is dry. I came here, there was no food. I wanted to eat salad. There was no salad. There was nothing. Just fries and chicken. And she in particular nurse taking care of me. What if I didn't have that nurse? When she heard my story, I cried too. She knows I have no money. Why you should even care? Some people really don't care. It's none of her business if I eat or I don't eat. It's none of her business. But she just took it upon herself to look after me. It's definitely none of her business to take care of me. But now she has taken it like her business. Her business took care of my daughter. Her business took care of me. That's her job. That's what she's paid for. Take care of Queen. And now she's putting on the burden, my own burden. You guys don't understand.
Yeah. I shower once a week, no problem. I'm going to go to the hospital. So. I just don't want to be doing too much. Right? Because you know you already been discharged. And why are they keeping you here? Because you have a, your babies here. So they just let it be because your baby is around to just discharge. But their job is to take care of my daughter, not me. And now they have to take care of my daughter and they have to take care of me. It's not good. Came around 4 p.m. Everything is finished. Let me know if you like my hair. Because I'm loving it. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you like it or you don't like it. I love it. Oh, my face. You see my face? Ooh. Probably from New York, push on the street. They actually have a house, a big house, a house that Jay Z and Beyonce can actually live in. It. They do. Somebody just tell me, hey, come here, come, come eat some food, take some baths, get some fresh air. You can go back to the hospital. Nobody's doing that. of all dark spots look at that look at that i am tired of these dark spots see that i just don't know what to do you hear all these dark spots i just don't know what to do look at that all these dark spots See that? All these dark spots. Look at that. 
my face my face look at that the shampoo I shampooed my hair So I'll just go put some TV and watch people enjoying Thanksgiving in their houses. Oh, ID, 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 ID. You have ID? You have ID? What is it with ID card? What is it with ID card? What is it with ID card? Do you think I'm scared? Oh, I'm shaking. If America won you out, they will fish you out like Osama Bin Laden and they put you on a free flight and you home and I want to go home. Don't bother yourself. Look at my mouth that I, I make like that. Hmm? Then my mouth is still here now. That was a big thing. My mouth <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Oh, I'm shaking. Oh, I'm so scared. Shut the fuck up. You don't want your fish out like Osama Bin Laden and put you on a free flight. Which is the best. I don't have to pay for a flight. Just shut up. You got ID? You have ID? ID card? ID card? You got ID? Shut up. I'm in the hospital. <laughs> I'm in the hospital. My daughter Queen is fighting for her life. She might not make it. I'm fighting for my own life. I might not make it. I don't have food to eat. The nurses are the one giving me food. If they don't give, I stay hungry. I don't take bath every day. I think some days. Because now every day I take a bath. You don't want to do too much in the hospital. Wow. You see my face breaking out? I really don't know what's going on. My face is really breaking out. My entire body too. Like, you know, I just poop two babies this year. I'm just grateful this year that it's ending. I gave birth to two babies in one year. The first birth was in February 25th, 2021, and the second birth was October 16th, 2021. So I carried two pregnancy in 2021, and I gave birth to two separate babies in 2021. So that's a tap, like, that's a congratulation to me. So I think that's why I'm breaking out. My whole body is breaking out. Like even my in my body, my laps, I'm having like my entire body is just breaking out. Look, you see my face, all this dark spot. I have it everywhere. You know, it's not even my face. You know, my whole body is breaking out too. Because I carry two pregnancies. It's not easy in one year. Not even like the next year you're pregnant. In one year, as you're giving birth, you carry on that pregnancy. I've never heard somebody have done that. That you just give birth and then right there where you carry on that pregnancy. And you give birth the same year. Like I just gave birth to Derek, February 25th. And then I carried, I carried on that pregnancy right away the Queen. And then I gave birth to her in October. She was on full time. Because <laughs> my body could not carry her full time. So that's why I see my entire body is breaking out. Like my face is, you see how my face is breaking out? My whole body is breaking out. So I am so mad and I'm still mad. I just like I 
and they come from friends and family members. Come pick me and take me to your house. It's Thanksgiving tomorrow. Nobody have called me to come for, for Thanksgiving in their house. Don't you think I like to associate with people? I like to be alone, even though I'm a private person. See him going to YouTube, going social. Me, I like to associate, although I don't really like public like that, private. But can you ask me? Let me say no. At least just ask. Let me say no. Can you just like invite me for Thanksgiving? Oh, we can pick you up for Thanksgiving so that you can eat some food for Thanksgiving. You drink some good wine, drink some orange juice or water, or drink some cold water. You know, rest a little bit and they'll can send you back to the hospital. Nobody have done that in Texas. Nobody. I've said we coming to pick it up for Thanksgiving so that you can come to our house. But you wanna talk about ID cards. I didn't even ask you for ID card. What's what's up with ID card? What's up with ID card? Did they say oh Donald Trump is deporting people if you don't have ID card? And if they're deporting people, then I'm grateful that I'm not going to pay a flight. You know? I'm just so pissed off. For me, it's stupid. I can't be discussing ID card while I'm in the hospital. That's a no for me. Especially when I have a C-section and my baby is fighting for her life. If this child was full-time, if we were discharged, we in the house. You can talk about that. But this is a complicated issue. My child is fighting for her life. I'm fighting for my own life. We're still in the hospital. We're not having food. We can't take a bath. Nothing goes well. Are you talking about ID card? If my child was home, we were home. You can talk about that. You know, I'm just like, I need to talk about it again. I'm like, because it's getting annoying. It's pissing me up. I'm like, no. If you don't want me in your house, don't talk about ID card. Just tell me you don't want me in your house. I told you I need a place to stay. I'm stranded because we got evicted. I didn't ask you for any ID card. I didn't ask you that I need your help for ID. I didn't do ask you for that. So why are you talking about ID card? Hmm? It's not an emergency. My child is an emergency. I am emergency. ID card is not an emergency. Hmm? This is a cafeteria right here. I see the light in the back of it. I'm not allowed to cut this video. And I'm about going back to the NICU. My child is. My whole body is just breaking out. These people, they are about to close. So I want to get a bottle of juice before they close. They are ready to go. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving. You see that? They are ready to go. But there's definitely nobody in the, in the cafeteria. Absolutely no one. It's empty. Bye. I'm just gonna get a body of orange juice and drink because tomorrow they might not be open. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving. Let me eat my own Thanksgiving today. Bye bye.